Hey guys, what is up? Coming at you with my first YouTube video of World of Warcraft. Uh, we're going to be talking about fishing today. Where to go, how to do it, what can you catch, and how much money you can make. Now, you're going to want one of these fishing poles. The Broker's Angler, because uh, it increases your fishing by 15, and increases your chance to find bait while fishing in the Shadowlands. So that's very helpful, and it could help save you some silver. If silver's not a you know not a big deal, then at least get it for the increased fishing to plus 15. Now, there's two common fish that you can catch anywhere. It doesn't matter if you're in Aldraxxus or Ardenweald or Bastion. It does not matter or Revendreth. Those are Lost Soul, which is common, and then Elijah Thane, which is more rare. And you've got the Silver Gill Pike, which is only caught in Bastion. Pocketed bonefish can only be caught in Maldraxxus. The iridescent amberjack, which is Ardenweald's fish, and the spinefin piranha, which is Revendreth. Now, obviously, I'm part of Ardenweald, if you can't tell by my soul shape, and convoke the spirits. Now, I fished for two hours. The first hour was not as efficient, it was just like more casual, doing other things, watching Twitch on my phone. I was able to catch 92 iridescent amberjack, and on my server they sell for 65 gold. I had to do a price check with all the fish, and I'm going to leave a link down in the description of Wowhead, I believe it is. Yeah, Wowhead, with all the fish, so you can do some price checking of your, you know, of your own on your server. I'm on Thrall, so these are the prices for Thrall for the fish that I've caught. So this was from the first hour. I have 92 of the Amberjack, I've got 48 Lost Soul, I didn't split those up between the two hours that I fished, and I've got Eli Elijah Thade. Yeah, I can speak, jeez. So if you do a price check, those, the Amberjack, sell on my server for 65 gold, and the overall price as a day and four, hour ago, four hours ago is about 6,000 gold. And these, which I also, once again, I did not split them up between the two hours. It's 144 gold, not the best. And the Thade is 119 gold. They sell for 39.96. Now, with my efficient half hour, so this was from uh, roughly about an hour. Once again, not efficient at all. More casual, more relaxed, not on top of things. This, these two stacks are from my half hour efficient. Once again, you know, with the correct bait and with the, what is it, the oversized bobber that you can also fish up, that blacksmiths can make, but I fished for mine. I was able to get 75 amber jacks, so as you can see, that's a huge difference. This was an hour, this was a half hour, and they sell for 4,875 gold. You could probably, on average, I would assume, make about 10,000 gold for an hour with just these. So that's not terrible. Once again, they sell on my gold for 65. Or they sell on my round for 65 gold. And then you've got the uh, Thade, which I call it four, which is one extra, and 159 gold. You can't go wrong there. Then you can also use them for cooking, obviously. But I also not only want to make this a fishing video and how much money can you potentially make, depending, you know, server depending. But I also want to make this uh, my first achievement guide video. Like, my progress video on achievements, that's what I'm going to call it. And, here we are. Oh, wait. Here we are. I got four achievements so far today. 25 fish, 50 fish, 100 fish, 250 fish. Now, I've been doing achievements, I've been collecting toys, I've been collecting mounts, and doing dungeons. This is a new character. So, I didn't have a lot of achievements. Um, I haven't played a lot of retail. I jumped back into WoW when Classic came out. And more recently, right before Shadowlands, about two or three weeks before Shadowlands came out, maybe a month, I started playing retail. And so I'm still very, very, like, beginner. Yeah, I'm like a very big beginner still when it comes to achievement points. And I'm just trying to collect them and show my progress as I go. I looked on YouTube. I haven't seen a lot of progress videos. A lot of them are raid videos, money-making videos. 
and I figured if I combine progress videos with my achievements and what I've been able to capture with money making, it might be something some people are interested in, because I feel like I would be. So that's what I've done so far. I'm going to continue to fish. I am trying to max out on my fishing and hit 200. I started at level 1, and I'm at 165, uh, 167, and then plus 15 from the fishing, the, the pole. And then next would be cooking. And I did mining, and I've done herbalism, and those are really good money makers. But if you're just trying to relax, if you're just trying to chill, you had a long day at work, fishing is the way to go. You just have to figure out which fish will give you the most money. Grab the correct bait. I grabbed 20 of all of them, just to be safe. And, you know, I'm only using two. I'm um, not even two, I'm using one. And then this one is for the Thade, but I haven't even used one yet. And you can also get the Last Rite Skeleton Key, which helps you open up locks that require up to uh, level 60 lock picking. So those are useful. Don't know what I'm going to use them for yet. I don't think I've found anything that you need a lock for. But also, the next thing that you guys should be looking for is the Hardy Dragon Plume toy. And what it does is it slows your fall for 10 seconds. I can't tell you how many times that has saved my life. Uh, when I remember that I have it, of course. Because, uh, you know, to get to some of the uh, chests and to places that otherwise would be hard, that you can't necessarily fly because of Shadowlands and the restrictions restriction, restrictions they have on it. Um, most of the time you just have to get to a higher elevation and then jump off and use the toy. And I didn't think a toy would be this helpful, but it is. And then as for my toys, I have quite a few. Uh, I would say most of my toys are from the Shadowlands, the Hardy Dragon Plume. Um, the file, uh, the file, the, yeah, fly, the vial of ravenous slime, uh, headless horseman. That is my favorite, but it's not from Shadowlands. The Fey harp, which you have to have, I think it's two, maybe three people, play musical instruments and then open up the chest. That's the only way you can get the chest to open. Fey pipes, uh, bondable Valkyr, which I haven't used yet, so I don't know what it does. It tells you what it does, but that doesn't really help. And the Bonnable Sinstone. And then for my mounts, I was able to get the Enmire Fire on my first kill of the rare. The Shimmer Mist Runner, which was a pretty easy one. I had to Google it, figure out where, how I was supposed to do it. Because every time I ran up to the guy, they would disappear. And if you don't know, that is over here. To get that mount. So back to where I was going. That's the Shimmer Mist Runner. Uh, the Wild Glimmer for Prowler. Once again, I got him on my first try also. Wild Sea Cradle. Which is something everybody can get. You can look up a video. I would definitely recommend... Um, what's her name? I'll, I'll figure it out and I'll tell you guys later. The, or the Orboreal Gulper. Once again, it's a 100% drop rate or drop chance mount. And then that's from a quest, from just doing the quest line for Aria Wield. But I'm not sure if anybody can just get it. And then you have the Spine Maul Glade Chewer. Which, I, I ran into people when I was doing this. I only had to kill two monsters, and the rare spawned in. They helped me out. I'm glad they were there, because I almost died. And it, once again, it dropped on my first try. So I've had a lot of good RNG. I really can't complain. And, you know, it's just, it's that simple. The only thing I'm missing, um, not, not mount-wise, but in-game is a guild. That's all, that's the only thing I am not part of. I'm part of communities, but not guilds. But anyway, I'm gonna look up real quick, Hazel Nutty Games. Um, the title of the video that she has to get you those three maybe four mounts is get this mount if you haven't yet it's very easy and it was uploaded she uploaded about a week ago I did it probably about a day or two after the video was uploaded and that's four easy Shadowlands mounts that you guys can also get and I just want to give you guys a quick update on my, my character and achievements because I've been meaning to do this for a while now I meant to do this like a hundred achievement points ago but I just never got around to it 
So this is one of many, many gold making achievement, you know, progress, progress guides, you know, whatever you want to call it. I haven't figured it out yet. But I'll see you guys later. Peace.